Listen to a talk show interview and write T for true or F for false. Welcome to our show today, Dr. Walter Ellis. Thanks for having me, Don. Today we're talking about intelligence on our show. I know there are a lot of ways of finding out exactly how smart a person is. What do you think is the best way to see how smart we are? Well, Don, that depends on what kind of smart you mean. The most common test is the IQ test. It's not exactly a test that tells you how smart you are. It doesn't test knowledge on a particular subject. It's a test that measures how quickly you can solve different kinds of problems. The score you get is what we call a person's IQ. Yes, I remember taking an IQ test when I was younger. I think I got a hundred and thirty-five. Is that a good score? It is. It's not extremely high, but it is significantly higher than the average, which is between eighty-five and one hundred and fourteen. You are what scientists would call moderately gifted. <laughs> well, that's good to know. So, doctor, can you tell us what your IQ is? <laughs> sure, I don't mind. It's one hundred and forty-seven. I'm what they call highly gifted. Lucky us. Will you tell us what the IQ of some famous people is? I get that question a lot. Well, Charles Dickens, for example, had an IQ of one hundred and eighty. He fits in the profoundly gifted category. Interesting. Who else had a high IQ? We all know that Albert Einstein was exceptionally gifted. His IQ was one hundred and sixty. Some surprising numbers come from past U.S. presidents. George Washington's IQ was one hundred and eighteen, and John F. Kennedy's was one hundred and seventeen. They were considered bright, but when you think of their impact on history, you might have expected a higher number. That's one example of how an IQ test doesn't always measure ability or how smart someone actually is. What about some scientists like Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz, the mathematicians? Newton's was 190, and that of Leibniz was an impressive 205. They are what we call profoundly gifted. Well, thank you, Dr. Ellis, for all the info, and we'll make.